While most writer's students are familiar with the lines at dailies and the dinner rush at crayons, those aren't the only places students eat on campus. Students involved in sororities on campus have a meal plan of their own. Three out of the four social sororities have a meal plan that encompasses a chef in their own basement. I decided to go to Alpha C Delta, where I visited the kitchen to find out more. I interviewed their chef, Lori, to find out more about her job. It's going on 17 years, since 2002. She told me her favorite part of the job. Getting to meet so many girls and be a part of their lives even after they graduate and to be able to give them some home cooking while they're away in college to make them have a little bit of home. She recognizes how easy it is to form relationships with the girls. It's very easy. Once they come into the kitchen, I feel like this is a safe room for them that they can vent or just have someone to talk to. Sorority women are still able to enjoy the benefits of Brock Bucks at Starbucks and Cranberries and can be guest swiped into dailies as well. I caught up with one of the sisters living in the house to ask her what she liked about eating there. I like always being around my friends and that there's always somebody down here to eat with me. Sienna couldn't help but rave about Lori's cooking. My favorite meal is when Lori makes the Caesar chicken. It's so flavorful. Um, it kind of tastes like cheese, even though there's no cheese in it, but I like cheese. I asked Sienna to compare eating at dailies to eating at the house. Well, eating in the house, like you can just walk down in the basement, but walking to dailies, you gotta take a whole hike to dailies, so it's definitely good to just walk down in the basement. It's always good for students to know their options when it comes to dining. The best way to any Bronx heart is through their stomach.